Yesterday, Zilliqa was one of the top gainers in the market. Today, it's one of the top losers. Does it make sense to buy this dip now? Does it make sense to be greedy when others are fearful? Let's look at what the data has to say. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Hi, so we currently see almost 20% of a loss in the last 24 hours for Zilliqa. And that happened after we had quite an impressive rally the day before yesterday, right? We also see that the trading volume has pretty much peaked at similar levels to here on the 21st of April or on the 7th of April. Each of those points being relatively high values in terms of price, right? This is expected. When trading volume is high, this means there's a lot of attention on the token, which means the price also tends to be high. When trading volume tends to decline, this also means that the price tends to decline. So we always have to be cautious when trading volume is comparatively high. Now with the rally that we have seen recently, we were basically hoping for a repetition of the price movements end of March of this year. So a trading volume that basically shot through the roof, right? We haven't been that high in the last 48 hours. And so we are hoping for an acceleration. Now this unfortunately did not materialize itself, right? We are now looking at a drop from the peak of 19.4% roughly. And it looks like on a daily time frame, we are back into bearish momentum. When we don't look at Zilliqa in US dollars, but instead measured in Ethereum, this is now the current picture. We have peaked somewhat, we are now declining, and there is still quite a bit of way to go until we can see really somewhat of a sustained support. Now here's why we talked about Zilliqa yesterday and why we talk about it again. Yesterday we came briefly above the most important moving average for Zilliqa, which is when you backtest this, the 14 day simple moving average. We have come above this temporarily, but unfortunately we haven't closed the day there. Now, if you follow the strategy of this backtest, right? By the way, you have to watch yesterday's video. If you haven't, then this video here will not make a lot of sense to you. If you follow the strategy, this is currently very bearish. This does not look pretty. And it gets confirmed when looking at the overall market, right? When looking at Bitcoin with its best moving averages, very ugly. We are also below what we could potentially call somewhat of a support right now. There isn't much that holds us back to fall all the way down to 30k. A very similar situation can be seen here with Ethereum or with Total3 in general, right? Total3 is the cryptocurrency market cap of all altcoins. So crypto's market cap minus Bitcoin minus Ethereum. So all of those measures look bearish. When we look at all the back-tested moving averages, they are not the same for any asset, right? They're quite different. We see negativity across the board. Nothing is really holding up. It really looks like it's time to be rather risk off than risk on. We can also see this here in the premium alerts channel, right? Today we got a lot of bearish signals. So Zilliqa is below the moving average, Holochain is, Dogecoin, Thoughtchain Rune, and of course Bitcoin. So note how we have here different moving averages. And in the premium membership, there's also an area with custom code that you can simply copy paste over to TradingView to then whenever you toggle between different alts, you get the best back-tested moving average. And so does it make sense to buy this dip just based on the moving average strategy? It does not, right? You want to be moving with momentum. You want to be long when the price tends to go up. You don't want to buy a negative trend that can, if things go really, really ugly, continue for quite a while. This of course here is no exact science, but I think nothing can really be ruled out. And so what's important here is to be clear about your investment thesis. Are you buying Zilliqa for the long term or are you buying Zilliqa for a trade? If it's for a trade, if you just want to get into those short term rallies, then this does not look pretty. If you're thinking about it long term and you're simply a fan of the project, of the fundamentals, of the execution, then I don't have any argument against holding Zilliqa. But make sure that you didn't enter the trade for a short term flip and then when it runs against you, you become a long term investor. That's a recipe for disaster. You definitely don't want that. And so there's quite a high correlation between cryptocurrencies, right? You have to be able to stomach the volatility. This is a very long-term Bitcoin chart starting all the way in 2012 where Bitcoin was just a few dollars to today. So this is a regression channel and we are now relatively low. 
right, we are in accumulation territory, but still there is further room to fall, right? 20K are on the cards if we completely capitulate. If we see something like the final capitulation in 2018 or a corona crash, then 20K is not unrealistic. It's simply in line with crypto's volatility in the past. So be prepared for this. I'm not saying this will happen, but I am saying you should be able to buy the dip. You should not be discouraged in case we see these prices. For the eventuality that we do see those prices, you have to be on the buyer side. You cannot be too fearful. And when Bitcoin can go down almost 50% from here, then due to the inherent leverage of Zilliqa, which has seen drops of more than 80% repeatedly, you have to be okay as a long-term holder to stomach these drops. So make a very clear decision here, right? Are you holding Zilliqa for the long term and you can stomach the potential volatility? Or are you trading this? And if you're trading this, I think this is not the time to buy in. I think when we look at back tests, we should be going with momentum, not against it. And currently we are below what historically was the best moving average for Zilliqa, where we would bet on rising prices when the price is above the moving average and falling prices when we are below the moving average. So if you haven't yet watched that video on that back test, definitely don't miss this at the end of this video. And so feel free to join our free Telegram group. Simply search for Bitcoin Strategy Channel within the Telegram app. We are almost 2000 people over there now. So a lot of interesting discussions happening over there. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, don't miss that either. I publish videos regularly. And here the video on Zilliqa that I was mentioning several times in this video, the back test that shows how to time the market. A lot of very interesting value over there. Don't miss it. So see you over there and bye-bye.